Hello everybody, I wanted to make a very short video tutorial for a, a feature in Adobe Premiere Pro CS5 that kind of got me in CS4 I didn't know how to do this and I figured it out the hard way figured I would try to make things easier for those that may not know this uh, for most of you it probably is going to be just oh yeah I knew that already but for those of you who didn't maybe this will help you out so basically when it comes to still images in Premiere Pro CS5 you can import a number of different types of still images, JPEGs, TIFFs, uh, Photoshop images, uh, Illustrator images, and a number of different items. You can import them in and sometimes these images are going to be different sizes, larger, smaller, whatever. And in order for them to all look the same, Premiere Pro needs to be able to scale those particular images so it fits your timeline. Now, you can do this in a really easy way in Premiere Pro and make it all, all these images scale to the same size. But before I tell you how to do this, just understand that if you're importing your images and they all look very, very close up, like some of them are like really close up and not the whole picture, that's because of the different picture sizes, the way that Premiere Pro uh, interprets them. And for some people, they may want that. You may want to manually scale your image to be a certain size. As you can see here, I've got this explosion picture, but this is just part of the picture. I can go in and manually under the effects control under motion and scale this image to be whatever size I want it to be okay uh, but as default it looks like it's very close up Premiere Pro has a really cool way to be able to fix this for you for every still image so what you can do is you can go up to the preferences for Premiere Pro under general and then right here you'll see this checkbox it says default scale to frame size what that means basically is every still image that you bring in is going to be scaled to the size of the uh, timeline. So you check this box in, click OK. Now you notice it didn't change anything for me here. That's because my image is, my image is already in the timeline. So you just right click this image and scale to frame size here. Now you can see the image is scaled to fit. Now like I said you can do this manually if you wish to do so and some people may want to do this manually because they might be doing a Ken Burns effect or some kind of panning uh, manual panning that they choose to do but but for m most part if you're just having images in your timeline you want them to be still and static like this without zooming and panning you can use this default scale to image uh, default scale size to really help you out and save you a lot of time when it comes to uh, inputting still images into your timeline and sometimes folks can put in a lot of these still images and they just don't have time to go in and, def and manually scale them to be the proper size this offers a really easy way for you to be able to do this right under your preferences so that's it for now like I said a really short video uh, let me know what you think about this comments uh, things that I may have missed or thoughts that hey you know you should think about doing it this way maybe it'd be easier also if you have ideas for video tutorials that you you know think would be a good one if I'm knowledgeable enough to do them I will certainly do a video on those and uh, you know I, I welcome your videos too I'd like to see some other things for Premiere Pro that tips tricks that people have I'm always uh, up to learning some new stuff in Premiere Pro alright that's all I have for now guys and gals uh, like I said leave me your comments let me know what you think thank you